Good morning YouTube. So I'm getting ready to put together one of these battery packs and let me show you what a finished one looks like here. So there's a finished 20p battery pack. So it's got 10 pair of cells and the way I set it up I've got the uh, negative connector down there, the positive up here, bus bar running down that side. So everything's symmetrical. That way I can daisy chain these all together to make different series packs and then on the end I've put on my balance lead so I've got connector there, pair of connectors there so I can go on either side so the way I got there I start out with the negative side and I get one of my flag terminals start with something that looks like that and I have to grind down the sides and the end there so it can fit. You can see right there that doesn't uh, want to go in there. It's a little too big. So I have to grind it down to fit. Then I spread open the end and solder in a bullet connector there. So I got to make sure that's all the way down because if you can see right in there, the hole is close to the bottom. So I need this terminal to be down as far as I can because the next step is I've got to feed one of my bus wires through there so I've uh, bent the end put a little less than a half moon shape in there and then I've also hammered that flat if you can see the wire has been flattened out just so it's a little bit thinner there and I have it just bent enough to let me get through the hole there because you can't you can't go too big on that because otherwise you can't feed the wires in so I feed one from this side and that you can see it's a pretty tight fit in there so I'm trying to get the wires to fit around that screw hole because that's the next thing I have to do yeah so then what I do is I take a drill bit and run it down through that hole so I get the uh, everything clear because it's a really tight fit Okay, now the trick is to try to get this number 8 brass screw down in the hole. There we go. So that kind of lines everything up. So I have these uh, square nuts. And the idea is you want to fit one of those in. And let's see, yeah, that way get the tapered side down. So I fit the nut into the hole and try to hold that in place. And then I run... Yeah, there we go. And you can see now the nuts in that square hole. And there we're tight. So there's we've got one in. And then what I do is I just go on my bandsaw and nip off the end of the bolt there that I don't need. So this negative one's ready to go. Then I just repeat the same operation. So the spacers attach with some self-tapping screws and you put the uh, put the screws in through here and then the spacer threads on to the top side there so I do that after I trim off the screw yeah so I just wanted to show you the assembly procedure and how I'm going through those just try to get everything in a uh, proper sequence so you do things like I have to cut this screw off before I put on the uh, spacers because otherwise I'm going to cut the spacer then put your all your negative sides down in there make sure they all fit make sure they're all insulated and all tinned put the top on add the screws you have to spend a minute or two just adjusting each one to get them all up in there and all fully seated because you you want it fully seated here before you put the screws in because you really don't want to use the screws to pull it together you want the screws just to hold it in place okay YouTube they've got one negative holder ready to go okay YouTube we got the cells in there this is my pack number two so I pulled the cells out of my power shelf and put them in order so the idea is I can uh, know which cell is in which position based on my spreadsheet so I can always go back to that and then what I do is check to make sure I've tinned all the tabbing 
And then before I do the tinning, I also make sure I've inserted insulation under the tabbing between the cells. Some of the cells have the factory insulation in place, but some of these here I've had to add, like that one there, this red one. I do that because you're going to solder right there, and if you melt through that plastic insulation, you've got yourself a short circuit. So then the next step, once I've checked all that, and I've checked the bottom side as well, is this guy has to fit over there. All of those have to be in place. And that's where I'm putting these spacers in ahead of time. You can see, like there, I have a gap on that end. Actually, I have a gap on both ends. So, yeah, there we go. So you just have to firmly squeeze that in. Now, I've got almost no gap there. Still a little bit on this end. But that's pretty good. So now I just put my uh, three screws in, get them into the, the spacers. Okay, YouTube, getting ready to put on the negative jumper wires here. And I cut a little piece of 18 gauge tinned copper wire, solid core. And I try to pre tin the end, and then I've also pre tinned the bus bar wire there. And then I can just come in like this. Hold it for a second until that uh, sets up. Oh, that one didn't quite get there because I'm soldering onto 12 gauge wire, so it holds quite a bit of heat there. Got to give it a few seconds, and then I can check all my other ones. I leave them sticking up like this, so I can just come down like this, grab onto this wire, and push it down. And I've already pre tinned the tabbing right there. And we've got one connection made. Okay, we got all 10 jumper wires in. Give them a check there if you feel anything loose. And there's a little bit of a spring in there, so if they are loose, they tend to pop up. And then for the positive wires, that's where I use my little fine gauge fuse wire here. So this is 30 gauge tinned copper. But the first thing I need to do is come in here. I hit all the terminals with my flux pan. I want to come in and kind of freshen up the solder on the bus wire here. So I go down all 10, hit my pre-tinned spots just so the solder will flow well. Okay, got all the uh, bus wires re-tinned. One, one advantage that has is it kind of puts a little heat into this 12 gauge wire so you can move a little quicker when you're soldering on the fine gauge wire. So I come in here, make a little hook on there, and lay it up against the bus wire, and there we go. Got that in there. And then I can just come in here like this and push a loop down. And the camera's in the way there, but just heat that up. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. You gotta hold it steady long enough until that tabbing sets up there. There we go. And then you can give the wire a tug and it's stuck down there. And then I just come in like that and snip off the end. So I got, yeah, nine more to do. And then I put my quick connect terminals on the end, cut these to length, crimp on the terminals, and then I bend them down. And we have another pack ready to go. So I'll show you what uh, all four of them look like when I get to that point. And we can uh, take a look at uh, putting four of these together into a battery.